There is clear evidence of home building from around 18,000 BC. Buildings come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and functions, and have been adapted throughout history, where they moved from a cave to some astonishing architectural marvels, for a wide number of factors, from building materials available, to weather conditions, land prices, ground conditions, specific uses, and aesthetic reasons. Buildings serve several societal needs primarily as shelter from weather or as security. It can be also used as living space, privacy, or to store precious things, and to comfortably live and work. So today we gonna take a look at the most expensive buildings in the entire world. We gonna see how much they cost and some more. You gonna be shocked because neither Burj Khalifa or Buckingham Palace exist in this list. So let go see the buildings that beat those two. Number 5 is the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas and a cost of $3.9 billion. The Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas is a luxury resort casino and hotel on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. The resort opened on December 15, 2010, and is located just south of the Bellagio on the west side of Las Vegas Boulevard. It consists of two high-rise towers, the Boulevard Tower and the Chelsea Tower both of which are 603 feet tall. The project features 3,027 rooms, many of which feature their own private terrace, a 110,000 square feet casino, 300,000 square feet of retail and restaurant space, a 40,000 square feet spa and fitness facility, a 3,200 seat theater, and 150,000 square feet of meeting and convention space. The 100,000-square-feet casino also features views of the Las Vegas Strip. The pools at the Cosmopolitan features three different types, a relaxing pool, day club pool and night club pool. In 2013, the hotel was rated the best hotel in the world by Gagobot. In 2015, the resort was named to the Condé Nast Traveler Gold List as one of the top hotels in the world. Number 4 is the Apple Park with a cost of $5 billion. In recent years, interest in sustainable planning and building practices has also become an intentional part of the design process of many new buildings. And Apple Park is one of them. Apple Park is the corporate headquarters of Apple, located in Cupertino, California, United States. It was open to employees in April 2017, while construction was still underway, and has superseded the original headquarters at One Infinite Loop, which opened in 1993. The main building scale and circular ground scraper design, by Norman Foster, have earned the structure a media nickname the spaceship. Located on a suburban site totaling 175 acres, it houses more than 12,000 employees in one central four-story circular building of approximately 2,800,000 square feet. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs wanted the campus to look less like an office park and more like a nature refuge. 80% of the site consists of green space planted with drought-resistant trees and plants indigenous to the Cupertino area, and the center courtyard of the main building features an artificial pond. The land cost was estimated at $160 million. In 2011, the budget for Apple's campus too was less than $3 billion. However, in 2013 the total cost was estimated to be closer to $5 billion. Steve Jobs, in his final public appearance before his death in October 2011 was quoted as saying, It's got a gorgeous courtyard in the middle, and a lot more. It's a circle, so it's curved all the way round. This is not the cheapest way to build something. Every pane of glass in the main building will be curved. We have a shot at building the best office building in the world. I really do think that architecture students will come here to see it. The campus is one of the most energy-efficient buildings in the world, and the main building, Steve Jobs Theater, and Fitness Center are all LEED Platinum certified. In an April 2018 press release, Apple announced that it had switched to being powered entirely by renewable energy. The solar panels installed on the roof of the campus can generate 17 megawatts of power sufficient to power 75% during peak daytime, and making it one of the biggest solar roofs of the world. The other 4 megawatts are generated on-site using Bloom Energy server fuel cells, which are powered by biofuel or natural gas. The air flows freely between the inside and outside of the building, 
providing natural ventilation and obviating the need for HVAC systems during nine months of the year. Number three is the Marina Bay Sands complex with a cost of near to $7 billion. Marina Bay Sands is a destination for those who appreciate luxury. Designed by Moshe Softy, at a cost of $6.88 billion US dollars which make it the third most expensive building in the entire world. It is owned by the Singaporean affiliate of the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. At its opening in 2010, it was billed as the world's most expensive standalone casino property. It comprises three 55-story towers, topped by a connecting 31,120 feet sky park with a capacity of 3,902 people, of extravagant hotel rooms and luxury suites with personal services. The resort includes a 2,561-room hotel, and the world's largest atrium casino with 500 tables and 1,600 slot machines, and a 490-feet infinity swimming pool, that has a great view of the city skyline, and it is the world's largest rooftop infinity pool, it is open for pretty long hours. The pool is split into three sections, an adults-only area, a family-friendly section, and a dedicated children's pool. Singapore is hot and humid all day and night so it is always hot enough to swim in the pool. The building has a gym which is excellent, in addition to a great view it pretty large and have a large collection of exercise machines. The price for a standard room with a harbor view at MBS is between 330 and 500 US dollars, depending on the season. Number 2 in the list is a broad albate with a cost of $15 billion which is 5 times Donald Trump net worth. The Abraj Albate is a government-owned complex of 7 skyscraper hotels in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. These towers are a part of the King Abdulaziz endowment project that aims to modernize the city and catering to its pilgrims. The Central Hotel Tower, the Mock Royal Clock Tower, has the world's largest clock face and is the third tallest building and fifth tallest freestanding structure in the world. The clock tower contains the clock tower museum that occupies the top four floors of the tower. The tallest tower in the complex is the tallest building in Saudi Arabia, with a height of 1,972 feet. Currently it is the fifth tallest freestanding structure in the world, surpassing the Ping Finance Center in Xinjiang, China but shorter than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. UAE, the Tokyo Sky Tree in Tokyo, Japan, the Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, China, and the Canton Tower in Guangzhou, China. The site of the complex is located across the piazza to the south from the main entrance, King Abdulaziz Gate, to the Masjid Al Haram Mosque, which houses the Kaaba. To accommodate worshippers visiting the Kaaba, the Abraj Al Bayt Towers has two large prayer rooms, one for men, one for women capable of holding more than 10,000 people. The tallest tower in the complex also contains a five-star hotel, operated by Fairmont Hotels and Resorts, to help provide lodging for the millions of pilgrims that travel to Mecca annually to participate in the Hajj. In addition, the Abraj al Bayt Towers has a five-story shopping mall, the Abraj al Bayt Mall, and a parking garage capable of holding over a thousand vehicles. The developer and contractor of the complex is the Saudi Bin Laden Group, the kingdom's largest construction company. It is the world's second most expensive building with a total cost of construction totaling 15 billion US dollars. Moving on to the final building in our list, number one is Maka. The Al Masjid Al Haram is not only the most important mosque in Islam but also the biggest in the world. It is a mosque that surrounds the Kaaba in Mecca, in the Maka province of Saudi Arabia and it is one of the three holiest places in Islam. The Holy Mosque contains the Kaaba, the central sanctuary of Islam, in its interior. It is a site of pilgrimage in the Hajj, which every Muslim must do at least once in their lives if able, and is also the main face for the Umrah, the lesser pilgrimage that can be undertaken any time of the year. The rites of both pilgrimages include circumambulating the Kaaba within the mosque. The building dates back to the 16th century. Nine minarets cover an area of 356,800 square meters. There is space for up to 3 million worshippers. The Great Mosque includes other important significant sites, including the Black Stone, the Zamzan Well, Maqam Ibrahim, and the hills of Safa and Marwa. As of August 2020, the Great Mosque is the largest mosque and the eighth largest building in the world. It is now under the control of the King of Saudi Arabia who is titled the custodian of the two holy mosques. 
it is estimated that the total costs of the building come to $100 billion, which make it the most expensive building in the entire world. You may be surprised but I will give you a reason why it is that expensive, the materials used in this building are precious, the floor is made of a type of marble called tassos, which works to reflect light and heat, which is what granite and natural marble do not. This type of marble is rare and is imported specially for the Holy Mosque from Greece. The marble is 5 cm thick, as it is distinguished from others by absorbing moisture through tiny pores during the night, and during the day it removes what it has absorbed at night, which makes it always cold in the heat. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more, and tell us in the comments which building of those you want to visit.